Hey again guys, this is Dan from iPadJailbreak.com. I'm going to show you guys how to create a or add a custom font to your iPad or your iPhone. Uh, Byta font is out there and it's free and it allows you to go ahead and download uh, fonts, other fonts to install. So this is just the the app that will allow you to install those fonts. Um, Byta font is, is uh, compatible with iOS 6 and, and works just great. Uh, as you can see, I have a custom font here, and the one that I have installed is this Tom SK font. You'll, as you see, when you're, you'll get new updates. The the TT here, this one right here, is a font, as you can see. And then uh, other fonts that were these were just that are just came out, like a new fonts. You'll be able to signify so there's a scratch scratch HD font, and you'll be able to preview those. All of them pretty much have a you wait for it to load, it'll give you a screenshot or something like that, so you can kind of see what you're going to get before you get there. Some of them are almost um, illegible. Um, some of them are really good. So, uh, this is one of the nicer ones, I think. This font. Uh, it'll also adjust um, your any web pages or anything else like that too. So here's the one I just installed called Tom S K font. So I go to the sections here. You can go ahead and scroll down to where it says fonts. After you have Byte font installed, you can come through here and there's, as you can see, there's probably a hundred of them just in the A letter. So I'll go ahead and back up here. And this icon right here is Byte font. You just go ahead and click that one. And as you can see, I have three different fonts right now. This is Sweet, it's actually it's Sweet Cheeks that I have in, that I have on here right now. If you want to change your font, you just click this, it'll it'll have, respring your device, which I'm not going to do right now. But you just hit that, and it'll restore to whatever your uh, your custom font is. You can restore to original, and that, again, will also respring. So if I go to my, uh, if you go to a web page, you can see Craigslist or anything like that. The fonts will be integrated into there. You can see on my on my bar on the top there, the, 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 web, the web address is also written in that font. And another place you'll see it is in your notepad. So if you go to your note notepad, you will this you'll notice that it's still noteworthy on here. It looks like this font has not changed. You see if I type something new that if it changes it. No. The keyboard font is different, but the notepad itself is not. Appear to be the new font. It's hard to tell between noteworthy and the font I have, so it might be different, but I can't tell, so Anyway, that's where all the fonts, and it'll also be on your icon headings, which I have disabled right now, so you can't see that. Um, but you can see it on my lock screen here. The time and everything else, and my uh, my hundred percent and all that stuff is also in that font. So uh, I guess that's about it. Um, just go ahead and download Byte Font, and you can actually just go right to the app here. And as you can see, there's other things along the bottom. You can go to a blog or you can check out the new fonts. iPhoneRuler.net will, will uh, take you out to the newest stuff. You can just browse. You can, it'll just go out to their site. See Sweet Cheeks just came out, Dead Space, those things. I go to the basic. This is just what you have. And then you can have custom fonts for different, for different, uh, uh, different applications. So I have Sweet Cheeks installed on all of them. Um, you could have it customized so that Siri uses a different font as you can see versus other ones so the keyboard could have a different font so it'd be kinda cool to have a different font throughout different things so anyway uh, that's pretty much it uh, go ahead and check us out at iPadJailbreak.com and subscribe to our videos on iPad Jailbroken on YouTube and on Twitter thanks